quite a few people have problems with Flash on Linux, and that's mainly due to Adobe. Uh, Adobe is a closed source uh, company, and I would say they own like you know the Flash videos or players online. That's their market. They own that shit. Okay, and you really cannot do nothing about it because it's their code, and uh, you know they made it popular, so that's their shit. But uh, you have to wait for their ass to do it. Uh, I mean, they're making a uh, you know Flash for Linux, but uh, it's slow. Um, it's kind of buggy right now. I mean, it has like uh, if you're watching a uh, YouTube video or something, it's uh, glitchy sometimes, or um, it has gaps or uh, a lagginess to the video, and and that's not what you want <laughs> to do if you want to watch a uh, you know clip or something. So this is kind of like a solution. It's not a permanent solution. It's a temporary solution. Okay. Uh, basically, this is that we're gonna swap out the Flash player and use like VLC or Totem or one of our players. Okay. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Now you need uh, Firefox, I believe, or some browser that supports Grease Monkey. Okay. So I'm using Firefox. And uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, install Grease Monkey here. All right, so install this one. This add-on, and then you have to go and add in the the Utotem script here. All right, so install this one too. And now that you have a choice here, um, depends what player you're using. If you're using Totem, you have to install Totem and uh, the Totem Mozilla package, and all the codecs and all that, right? Uh, same thing with M player. You need to install M player and the M player plugin, VLC, and the VLC uh, Mozilla plugin. So uh, we're gonna use VLC for this example. So I'm gonna, you know, go into Snaptic and uh, install that baby, right? This Mozilla plugin here, right? So all you gotta do is head to your Synaptic and uh, install whatever you need to install. Since we're using VLC, we need that plugin. Uh, that's pretty much it. Install it. Now they'll tell you to like probably restart your browser or whatever, right? You can go ahead and do that. And uh, when you're playing a video here, right? Let's say you have this uh, flash video, and um, like you know, it has it has the uh, the slider and all that, which is good. And you can you can see that it's using a uh, flash Adobe Flash 10, right? So that's that. But when you uh, turn on your uh, grease monkey right here, right? Now it's disabled right now, but uh, if you click on it, it's enabled. And all you gotta do is refresh it, and you have um, um, the video is now gonna use the VLC. And it's gonna grab the MP4 format in uh, YouTube. So I'll, I only recommend this if you have a high speed internet, okay? Otherwise, it will drain you know your connection. <laughs> so it's smoother. I mean, I've been using it. It doesn't lag like a uh, like I would if I used the uh, the Adobe crap. Now the Adobe doesn't cr uh, lag that much, but it's still glitchy. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't like that experience of of having that crap. And as far as this, it only works on YouTube, I believe. It doesn't work on Hulu because Hulu has some encryption flash, but uh, that's another that's another thing we have to deal with later on. But uh, like I said, uh, these this using uh, VLC, right? So you can use uh, the keys for VLC in here. So you know you want to do volume up, volume down. You can do that here with the keys, the hot keys that they have. Now, if you don't know the hot keys, uh, it's basically uh, let me see here. So we have VLC here, right? Mm. And you go to Tools and Preference. Uh, you see, you should say Hotkey right here. Hotkey, right? And in all the hotkeys in here, should apply uh, when you're watching the the videos in VLC also. Uh, the VLC embedded player uh, in Mozilla Firefox. See, these are all the keys, right? So that's up to you if you want to do this. Um, but if you want to go back to uh, 
your flash player uh, you know then yeah go ahead and just disable this again and uh, you're back to your flash player or display uh, disable the the plugin if you don't need it no more let's see manage user script see the, the this is it if you don't want it no more just uh, uncheck this and it's disabled but as far as the video no lag and I like it okay uh, so that's it that's the temporary solution to that